Charlotte. That was uh, Johnny. Is that yours? I don't know who it is in your city. Thanks. He's a 65 pounders, Johnny, <clears throat> 10 years old, Jimmy Heil. He's in the blue corner, Mario Hernandez in the red. Heil comes sprinting in the middle of the ring. Scott gets his jab going a little bit. A lot of movement from Hernandez. Successfully. It's first round. Looks like that stool's too big for this guy in the blue corner. Yeah, uh, these kids are each the ground. These kids are only 65 pounds. Uh, yeah. They got to sort of boost them up on it. But they're 100,000 pounds in determination. That's for sure. And uh, you know, I. I gave the first round to Hernandez in the red corner. He was, uh, he was using his angles a little bit, and he was putting punches together, and uh, it was a nice right hand. Uh, okay, that's, uh, we can say anything about that, but I know you gotta watch out there. These kids are only 10 years old, and I'm sitting back here. The ref's got a front row seat right, right on top of the action. Maybe he saw something he didn't like, but that was a nice right hand snap the head back of Ohio. Now, Heil has got a sense of urgency. And the determination. Well, he just took a standing eight, and I know he doesn't think he should have taken one. So he's going to try to even off this round here. And he's putting it on him. Uh, you know, that was a great barrage at the end, and if not for the standing eight, I'd give him a round, but you can't erase the thought from your mind that he was given a standing eight count, that he thinks okay. he's behind. And, and, and he sprints across the ring. It's, that's, okay. it's going to be standing at that, but, and he has to because it was a punch on his way down. But, but he tripped. He tripped, yeah. And, and that was, you know. So. Now, what that does to Mario Hernandez in the red corner is. It gives him all the confidence in the world. Yeah. He he gave him a standing eight last round. He gave him a standing out eight at the opening seconds of this round. He assumes he's way ahead on points. I, I imagine because of the two standing eights he is. He just landed a nice right hand there. Both these kids are good boxers. You, you feel bad for Jimmy Heil now because you see the frustration setting in. He's uh, he's a better fighter than what, what he's fighting like right now. And, we saw him last night. He, that's the third and final round. He's about to get the loss.
sharp. He, uh, he was on his game. Um, for Jimmy Hyle, there'll be other days. He's a good fighter. He's uh, got a lot of determination. And, uh, it just wasn't his night tonight. Things didn't work out well. All right, here we have another champion uh, here. Uh, how many fights is this for you now? Two. And you won both of them? Yes. And do you want to continue boxing? Yes. How old are you? I'm 11. And what grade are you in school? Sixth. How are your grades in school? Oh, I got A's and B's. A's and B's? You know how to multiply? Yeah. Well, we'll see. But are you going to wear this to your class? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think you should. Well, let's see something here. Let me see if I have it in my pocket. And you're making A's and B's, and in math, how are you doing? I got like 102%. Do you know how to multiply? Yes. Okay. All right. How much? You have five seconds. How much is five times five? 25. Whoa, see, education pays. He's good in and out of the classroom. Okay. Yeah. Shout out HBC Hammond Boxing Club.